And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Clash Capital Hall Level 2. If you guys do not know, last video we recently upgraded our Capital Hall to the Capital 2 and has just finished up here today. So we're going to show you guys what you get when you unlock it. So let's jump right into it. Now, once your Capital Hall does get to level 2, you get access to a few things on the map. Of course, you'll see you get access to the Barbarian Camp, which is the best part about this because now you can make sneaky archers and on top of that, super barbarians. And you can actually start rebuilding other barracks and other army camps. So that way, when the actual weekend raids come around, you can actually participate in those, which I plan to do a video on that. So get subscribed so you don't miss out because we are participating that in tomorrow. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to make a video for you guys on that and going over it. But the good thing about today is that they actually dropped a tutorial on the actual event on how it works. So we're going to go through that later here. But for right now, let's go over the barbarian camp. First of all, you get access to your super barbarian barrack, which you can't upgrade down the line, but you need, of course, have a district call level two. They get access to that. So you won't be working on any of those upgrades for the time being. But what you can get access to while they get is actually upgrading and locking new barracks, such as the super giant barrack. You can access to that. And you can also get access to Ram Barbarian, which is basically the Barbarian Ram from actually Clash Royale, which is super exciting, which will pop open walls. Now you gotta keep in consideration that this troop does actually prioritize walls over defenses. So it's gonna pop a wall first, then it'll pop. You'll get five barbarians from it. So yeah, these both cost 7,500. So I'd work on actually getting these first unlocked and right after work on the army camps because you can get another army camp from this, which will be really nice. Now, you don't really get too many defenses and walls right out of the gate. I would afford to focus on your offense more than your defense. That way, when it does come to the raid weekend, you can get a lot more rewards because your offenses will be able to get you more capital gold from it, which will be really nice. Now, what I recommend you do with the defenses and walls you already have is that you should go into your base layout and add this. That way you can take advantage of it and make Make sure the cut off choke points because on the actual barbarian camp the water right here is actually gonna be huge because you can actually cut this off with some of the walls so that way the troops if they try to push up they can't unless they have a jump spell which no one's gonna have a jump spell out of the gate so they're gonna have to break these walls which will make it so if they try to push this they'll get packed off so you might want to use that opportunity the water around you to make a vantage point so that way you can focus on the backside so if people start attacking me backside now all my defenses are focused on the back end because now the front end can't really be affected unless they get around the wall somehow, which is very risky in itself. So I'll share my base layout to my capital peak and also my district barrack barbarian camp down in the description below. If you guys are interested in that, I will share them with you guys absolutely for free. But yeah, this is what you get right out of the gate. There isn't really anything too crazy, unfortunately. Just being able to actually attack and actually raid weekends will be the biggest part about this and ending your base layout. Now, there was an optional update releasing Clash of Clans for actually the raid weekends before you actually get into it, but you can actually click on this eye icon over here and go in attacking and do a tutorial. Now, if you do complete this tutorial, you can get yourself, I think it's 2,500 actually capital gold, or might be a little bit higher than that, but you're going to complete this tutorial to actually get yourself free capital gold which actually be huge so if you're missing out on upgrading your capital hall or getting some upgrades done i would recommend you complete this tutorial i'm going to go through it with you guys to show you guys on how to complete it because the text right here look a bit confusing but basically what it's saying is that the texts are going to go first then once the tech all text all goes away you're going to actually take part in the tutorial this tutorial text is way too long they should have made it two times speed for the actual text in itself but you can see once we get past that text we can actually use some of our super barbarians you're gonna drop four of those like so, which is basically gonna say like, hey, if you drop troops here and you go pick off stuff, it will increase the actual spacing of tiling where you can place troops. So you can see as soon as they break buildings, you'll get access to more area in that cubby, cubby. And you can see right now, they're gonna go for that wall. Now, you gotta keep in mind, anytime you actually attack a base and you've got walls to deal with, once they pop open a wall, or if you get over the water somehow, with maybe the jump spell or a frost spell, you can actually get more tiling to place your troops. But once those spells wear off, you don't get access to that anymore. But when you actually break buildings in a cubby or break a wall, you will get access to more tiling like you can see here. They broke that cannon, which means we can get access to tiling there, which is absolutely awesome. And now we have that whole cubby free that actually place troops in, which is really good. Now it's gonna show you like the jump spell. And if you were to use jump spell or frost spell to get over the water, of course, when you place it down, you will get tiling from this. You have to keep that in mind. So you can see the tiling is gonna expand by a big amount. Now we're actually troops are gonna get in here. Now the second part of this action tutorial is going to focus on your sneaky archers and taking advantage of them to actually get some of those picks. Now these are multi cannons of course, this is one of the new defenses. It's really strong for one troop. If it focuses on multiple troops, they really won't get through too much, but it can one tap archers. So using your super giants against these would actually be the worst possibility. Being able to pick them off right out of the gate with something else would be much, much better. Now. 
if we drop in of course our super gens right here you're gonna see they're gonna get targeted and they're pretty tanky troops this is why i'm saying you should unlock the super giants next because being able to take on one of those spear throwers and not really take too much damage on your troop will really help on a defensive play so we can use them now the super wizards are gonna be like one of those things you get in the third actual district most people won't really have them on the first raid weekend if they did they're gonna be like one of the top clans out there or maybe they grind or spend some money so i don't think you really have to worry about them but i would prioritize being careful on unconscious side like i'll show you guys my uh capital peak so i have a counter against sneaky archers and actual super wizards and i'll show you how that works later here now we're gonna get next is actually another two super giants which is the last thing we have to do for the tutorial now what's gonna happen here is you're gonna see the giants on the opposite side will rotate out the first our troops now we can't go through that gate like ourselves it's only for a defensive for the actual defending base and you can see with the actual super wizards they work like they work in the normal base they're just gonna pick off everything with the spread which is absolutely awesome and they're super super strong now you can see of course the theorist thrower theorist thrower i can't say anything right and also there's a cubby down here now in this cubby they have troops you can use troops and stuff like that to put them in a cubby because you will get access to defending troops such as the super inferno dragon which is literally busted they literally made that an actual defensive troop it's like cc but it's like kind of the ai troops and actually the builder base where they can roam around and help you out and defend your base which is pretty cool now here is the new frost spell the frost spell works pretty straightforward if you were to drop it it freezes the ground below you but it can also work as the normal freeze spell where it freezes defenses so they can't do anything to counter you so you're going to see right here is that I'm going to get tiling from that, but also I can now cross the water because the water is now frozen off that, which is honestly really cool. So now if I was to drop some of my uh, super barbarians in, I could go for the town hall. And what you want to do here is just get as many defenses as possible from this tutorial. When you get the most defenses possible, you're going to get more capital gold from this, which you can utilize. Now, of course, the super barbarian, they give you this brand bear act, but you can't really use it because it really targets walls. That's its first priority, like I said earlier. So it's practically useless because they're really low hit points. Now what we're going to do is going to drop in a sticky archer from the backside to actually help out our troops. And with that, we should be able to get through this. Now, you won't be able to 100% complete this actual capital base, unfortunately. They kind of make it seem like you can, but you actually can. You're just trying to get as much of the capital gold from this as possible. And you might need to attack this two to three times back. They actually get the most capital gold from this actual raid, like you see here. Like, I'm now at 60 when I used to be at like 300 or something. I don't know how much the start mount was, but... I'm getting more and more from attacking this tutorial and getting kind of warmed up before the raid weekend. And of course, with that, we can use that capital gold now we got from this tutorial on our base. So I'm actually going to use this on actually that barrack for the Super Barbarians. That way we get access to that. And there we go. Now, what I'm also going to do real quick is unlock this troop. So let's go do that. Now, the good thing is I have like five bases in Clash of Clans. So I'm using one of my five bases to actually craft some runes. And we're going to use these runes to actually get access to the Super Giants. So what we're going to do is finish this on up, speed it, go to the actual capital base, into our Barbarian Cape Camp. I keep saying it wrong for some reason. And then we can use this to get access to our Super Giants. And there we go. We now have the Super Giants unlock, which will be super good. Now, of course, you won't be able to upgrade them or anything with them, but you will have access to this troop. And you can see you can modify your attack strategy. So you can see I can actually pick this troop and the stats of these troops are pretty straightforward. Now, you can carry like up to like four Barbarians and then use two of the Sneaky Archers. But you can see with the housing space, you're gonna only have so much. Like right now, we actually only have 60. So that's why I would recommend after you get like your Super Giants, work on the actual army camp or work on the next barrack. I would prioritize the next actual army camp because that will give you more actual troop space which you have a lot more flexibility with your army composition so what we're going to do here is we're going to use two of these and we're going to run two of those and uh, actually another four that way we can actually pack in two super archers or super archers i can't keep getting confused with sneaky archers that way we have the stack and this will be armor composition now this doesn't require any actual cost or training time so literally once you click save you will have access to these troops which will be super ideal super awesome during the raid weekend man i cannot say my worst today now if you want to counter sneaky archers and super wizards what you're going to need to do is push your defenses from the wall by one more tile meaning that if the defense is already close to the wall by a tile they can actually shoot over after they break this camp for a second here and then target the cannon now what we want to do is make sure all of our defenses are pushed back by one more, meaning that from all angles, they are by two tiles. That way, the super archers and also, not super archers, sneaky archers and super wizards can't target them right out of the gate. Now, you got to be careful because you got to consider a splash. So, meaning like if there's a defense here or this camp here, you might want to push that back by another tile so that way they go splash. So, you got to be careful on how you do things because I don't think many people are going to have the super wizards right out of the gate. The sneaky archers are going to be your main concern. So making sure that pushing this back by one will be a big key component here. So for example here, let's say somebody attacks me, right? 
they break these two clubhouses and the third one now what they're gonna do is have their sneaky artist target now of course they're more likely to target this thing so i need to push this back by one so that way it doesn't get affected that way when they do actually start targeting something they're gonna have to target this first because it's the closest object to them that they can shoot at so they're gonna pick this rotate onto the bomb pop then of course rotate on the defenses now when the effect wears off of the sneaky archer ability the course get targeted by all my defenses here now of course super wizards same kind of concept except they won't be invincible for like two to three seconds so they'll get instantly get targeted and that's how you kind of counter them in the beginning of the raid weekend so keep that in consideration when you build a base but of course that is the level two capital peak and clash of guns and the actual barbarian camp if you did enjoy this video today and did find it interesting or even helpful make sure to smash the like button get subscribed so you don't miss any of our awesome videos here on the channel and don't forget to check us on twitch we do stream there of course every monday wednesday friday they have a link down below to our twitch channel until then i'll see you guys for our clash of clans video g-man out